Hello everybody, the one Panda here, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play 4 the, the Xenoblade Chronicles 3. Last time we finished off with Monica's quest, and uh, now we're going to be doing another quest uh, with uh, Ray this time, the hero, and uh, yeah, also grinding up, him up to... Uh, yeah, we have, already have him up, so I grinded, grinded up the rank class to level 10. I actually did a really fast way of doing this by coming here and I equipped a few different things. I equipped a, a different. Yeah, I'll just show you. I equipped a limited sword on here, and I, and I have with arts a flash fencer on here, and that was a, I was able to fight quite a few of the enemies. I still died a lot, but at least I was able to level up, and I actually leveled up completely off screen, so I'm level 88 now. So. Uh, yeah, what we're going to need to go to is off to the city, and yeah, here it is. There's a quest here. So let's head here. Okay, so let's head down here. Yes, uni's the boss. Hey, dearest. Got a minute for me? Sure. What's going on? You remember what we talked about? <clears throat> so help me, Gray. You mind sparing us the scowl? You're making them nervous. I highly doubt that. No, uh, actually you are. <laughs> there you have it. There's no helping this guy. Stubborn as they come, he is. Oh, yeah. You were, uh, married, weren't you? Oh, I didn't know you knew each other. This lady, she's Grey's partner, right? <laughs> yes, that's right. What about babies? You guys got any babies? Yeah, um... <clears throat> <laughs> so it seems that even the unflinching Grey can be caught unawares. Can we be done with the tomfoolery? Just tell me what you wanted, and quick. It's about the investigation. It was still ongoing until recently, but... Wait. Someone could overhear us if we do this here. I'll prepare a secure location. We can talk in more detail then. What are we even talking about? Nothing that concerns you. Actually, I'm thinking of asking for their help. What? They've been very cooperative in matters like this one. I think you'll find their assistance beneficial. But I will, will I? Well, all right. Right then. Rosanna, you can fill them in. Sure thing. Thanks, Monica. And we have payback for treason. Right. Nobody should bother us here. <sighs> now let's hear it. Okay. Well, we've been investigating for a while, and we discovered some suspicious activity from some of our own city folk. What suspicious activity? My husband here initially asked me if I could do something about the hardliners' aggressive policies. We knew those guys were up to no good, so we were trying to take precautions. Well, listen to this. Apparently... The hardliners might be using city technology to nefarious ends. It sounds like something was stolen from R&D, and we expect that that something will be abused to further their goals. Now we can't say what those are exactly. What could have driven them to this? You have to understand, this place isn't as monolithic as it might seem. Some folks take a really inflexible stance towards issues they might have, no matter how small. That's the long and short of it. Yes, it's just that this time, the problems have come to a head somewhat. We like to avoid unrest within the city as much as is reasonably possible. So I asked my husband for guidance. And additionally, I figured that you might lend your assistance as well. Oh, I see. So that's what's going on here. Yes, of course we'll help. Although you know you could have come to us with this in the first place, right, Grey? Sorry about my husband. You know, he's not the most communicative type. Understatement of the year. Huh. It just struck me. Grey's all... wrinkly. But you're not. Oh. Oh, <laughs> you're right. I'm a lot younger than he is, so that's certainly part of it. Right, honey? <sighs> Come on, talk to us, Grey. Communication. You must have heard of it, at least. I know he looks like a right grump. 
he's a good bloke, really. That furrowed brow comes with age, too, I'm sure. Do I have to endure this much longer? <laughs> now I get it. I did wonder how a guy like Grey could cope in a place like this. You keep him on the straight and narrow. Oh, dear. You really think so? <sighs> in any case, those things you collected also seem to have gone for a walk. So, in short, you want us to take them back by force? There you go again. Just asking for trouble. No need. I'm sure we can resolve this amicably. What I wanted to ask you is to collect some more Origin Shards. They're valuable things, and we'll be in deep trouble if we run out. We've got an approximate location, so let me give you that first. We can handle this, no problem. Looks like we're doing this, G-Dog. Time to saddle up. Yes. I'll do some looking myself as well, I reckon. Don't throw you back out. That should be my line. You're always so reckless. I know. I know. Okay, so we now. have to go to the Cadencia region. It's starting to get hungry now. And over here. Okay, at least they actually show us where they are so you don't have to go... I, I don't have to like actually search for the, where they are myself. Is it supposed to be here? If she had information to pass us, it must have come from Monica. That ought to make it trustworthy. Yeah, I'm beginning to wonder. We still haven't found a thing yet. Hmm. Doesn't seem to be anything here either. Doesn't look like it's gonna turn up. How about we just give up and head back already? Hmm. Oi, Grey, you listening? I. Wait. An ambush, eh? Huh? You finally made it, Grey. And you are? Looks like the info was good. We'll have a bit of your time if you don't mind. Okay, so we're fighting these guys. Level 51, so we should have no problem with them at all. Don't even know why I hit you. Cool, Yep. What just happened here? They look vaguely like lost numbers. Yeah. I thought they were supposed to be our allies. I suspect they're just an irritant. Sent here to slow me down. But who'd want to slow you down? Are they part of that opposing faction you were banging on about? Hmm. So then, these soldiers would have to be... They're part of Monica's faction. No question. But even that's got its share of radicals like these guys. The ones that like to stir things up. Stir up what, though? Nothing good, I guess. Their ultimate objective is the eradication of Mobius. But they'll stop at nothing to achieve it. That's where the trouble starts. They see the key pieces aligned on the board. Even Ouroboros are now in play. Now all it will take is to wrench the command from Monica and the entire city could be mobilized. Could they really do that? There are ways. Steal enough Levnissers from us, whittle away at Monica's support. And soon she'll be wide open. Hard to tell exactly how they'll make their move. But it seems they've decided the time is ripe. Okay. And what's that got to do with slowing you down? Unlike most city folk, I'm a lone wolf. Might be they didn't account for me in their calculations and just... simplified the maths. Since Grey's not usually in the city, they would have to get him where they want him, then restrict his movements. Oh, right. Now I'm with you. You see? Uh, hang on. One more thing. Doesn't that still seem weird? It was Rosanna that told us to come here, right? That's right. And we were ambushed. That would suggest an information leak. What do you want to do now? Whoever goes up against me, they're getting crushed. That's all. And what about Rosette? We're going back to the city. Come on, keep up. <gasps> I 
hope you weren't followed. <sighs> We've got enough decoys to keep them off our case, so I doubt they'd find us so easily. Still, if we keep twiddling our thumbs, it's only a matter of time before they rumble us. We've already sent men. Well, that was unavoidable. He's Vandam's man through and through. Five years we've been biding our time. Now that we have a chance, we can't let it pass us by. Yes, agreed. So why do you jeopardize everything by stealing that thing? If it hadn't been me that noticed first, our whole plan could have gone up in smoke. Well, maybe this wouldn't have happened if you hadn't been taking your sweet time with this thing. Calm down, both of you. They'll never find this place. And even if they do realize something's amiss, I've got ways to keep Monica off the scent. If you say so. Getting her out of here will leave one fewer obstacle in the city. The only problem is Grey. Some problem, though. He fought with Guernica on the front lines. And his nose is as sharp as ever. Still, you can handle him, yeah? Oh, don't you worry about that. Well, that should earn us some time. I don't see any outstanding issues. Rosanna's close to the core of the R&D team. And most importantly, she has Monica's ear. She'll use her non-combatant position if it's her neck on the line. Even if she has to betray her own husband. We'll be under more scrutiny than ever. So don't you dare do anything stupid. Trust me, I won't. I wouldn't throw my back out for nothing. If the others try to hinder our plans, we might have to actually use this thing. Lest we put our plans in motion ASAP. Seriously, how could I? Okay, so now it's back to the city, and uh, looks like trouble's afoot. We're not there right here. That's the state of affairs. Now here. Gray, you're the guy who works with Monica. There's something I wanted to pick your brains about. Hmm. I've heard your Rosanna has been trying to get outside. I see. She was stopped by the soldiers and turned back just like that, they say. Just for my own conscience, I went to check it with the R&D team, but they said she'd not come in that day. Whoa, is she okay? What if she was forced into something by that lot who attacked us? You were attacked? It's nothing. Right, well, that's about it. It just seemed a bit fishy, is all, which is why I wanted it noted. What did Monica have to say? Um, about that. She actually took an away team and went out. Something about a request from Rosanna. It seemed urgent. I mean, I suppose it must have been to get the boss moving like that. I wonder what that's all about. No clue. But I'll look into it. Appreciate it. Really, I do. Somehow, I don't feel like sticking my neck out myself here. Great. Do you know where Rosanna could be? I haven't the faintest idea. You seem real relaxed for someone whose partner's missing, pal. She made Monica leave the city and tried to go outside herself, too. That does feel rather odd. Furthermore, Rosanna should be aware of the dangers that await a non-combatant on the outside. Right? And if there was something she needed from beyond, couldn't she have just asked Monica? Well? You want to contribute or what? Whatever the case may be, Rosanna's tough. She'll be fine. Huh? I don't know where she went, but I can think of a few people who might. Well then, shall we try asking them? That might be the quickest way. Who are we asking then? Okay, yes. so let's uh, go and Doctor, ask a mechanic, few people. An old friend. Start by going over here. Like drum drum. I, I need to ask you something. Friend mean about Rosanna? That's right. Rosanna apparently been busy lately. Like drum drum, not seen her for three days. Shame. We'd like to spend more time tinkering with automaton. An automaton? I'm that right. Har hard to, to regulate the settings on some automaton. Great. Do you, do you know about this? I didn't. I haven't even heard. So this automaton, automaton you regulated. Where is it now? Drum drum, no, it is in Heidi Place. And not know any more than that. You were working on Automaton, but you know don't know where it was. Drum Drum told a question of trade secret. 
I had to walk into the place with eyes covered. Jump Jump Think was still in the city, but maybe on the very tippy edge. Got it, that, that'll be all. And Rosanna's whereabouts. Oh, so that's how they're doing. I guess we can talk to him again. How's the condition of bravery? Either either furnace is an experimental type. Please not to use it in a way that's too silly. This based on blueprint, Master Pond get from some place or other. Currently reliable is not will not fully known. Well, what you've got is us writing around here on here, drum 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 drum's best recommendation. Not think too hard about. It. Oh, so that's how they're doing. Okay, so now let's go here. Start here, talking to Clara. Oh my, now there's a face I haven't seen in a while. I have a question for you. Well, that's unexpected. Tell me, what do you and I have to, to talk about? Do you know where Ro Rosanna is? Rosanna? No, I don't believe I do. She's not like the rest of us, that girl. We don't have very much in common. What do you mean exactly? Well, you know, her way of thinking. It's not really compatible with ours. She's got. She's the kind of child who will do anything to get, to get her way. This little Rosanna. Enough chit chat. If you don't know anything, then we don't, we're done here. Now, is that any way to treat your elders? So callous, Greg. Come off it. I'm not old enough to be your brother. I wish you wouldn't waste my time. Saucy as ever. Alright, let's so listen here. I don't know where she is, but I can tell you a fascinating little tidbit. Rosanna happens to have some connections with my people. You mean the conservatives? Being a doctor might have to make one partial, but their world isn't as reliable as these days. So we've had to accept medicine from the girl at, at times. And at times, we've been known to make, found, feed her a few scraps of information. I get the picture, that's enough. I'll say again, Rosanna's a good girl, but she's also a good girl who puts her hands in the firm of considering her mean. You have to keep a tight rein on those types, or you never know what they might get up to. Hmm. Part two. Oh, so that's how they're doing. Now we just go, uh. go over here. And talk to Hollis. Got a question for you. Nice to see you too, Greg. Rosanna's missing. You know anything? From Rosanna? Well, she hasn't been here. I can tell you that much. Look, look I know you've had dealings with her. Tell me what you know. You're trying to make a point or something? I just owe the girl owe the girl a debt, that's all. What kind of debt? Okay, for the love of the founders. Fine, I'll tell you. Got a feeling you won't leave me alone until I do. You got us in trouble with the hardliners some five years ago, alright? Their leader, Brew, gave me a real good thumping. But Rosanna stepped in and made the bastards leave me be. Anyway, since then I've been gracing the wheels for her a little. Here and there. I see. Once I even rustled up some medicine that she said she needed. The hard liners again. I have to think of it. Why was, why was Rosanna even around at that time? It's always kind of bothered me, to be honest. I don't know what, exactly what they were planning, but they sure weren't, weren't about to wreck Mary Havoc on this place. I'm definitely grateful for to Rosanna, but for that if nothing else. But yeah, that's about the size of it. Do, do you know where the hard liners are? I can say I don't, but I doubt you to listen. Oh, oh, go on then, I'll tell you. One place is on the edge of Rebe Rebellion Plaza. I don't know how the exact location, but they like using that area a lot. Another is in the Great Sword Pat Passage. Although I have to say I'm not sure if that's what one's likely like a room or what. Other than that, I'm so suppose there's mm, militia we shouldn't look out. Maybe you'd see her across the whole city from there. As long as they can't make any big moves, I expect they'll they'll be in hiding. Great, right, so that's enough. I can imagine what you're going through, you know. But she's a stubborn one, that girl. You couldn't bring her in if you tried. But I didn't ask for your opinion. Now we got a full part of this discussion. Oh, so that's how they're doing. So let's head over here. Just going to run recon on the canteen. Let's rest and heal up. Right, let's discuss Rosanna's whereabouts. Oh wait, yes, we have to do it at the city camp, not here. I'm getting peckish. Do we have any snacks? Everyone, a moment of your time? Let's sum up what we learned. First, we know Rosanna tried to send Grey and Monica out of the city. And we heard she tried to leave it, leave it herself as well. But it seemed unexpected for Rosanna to try and go outside. It could have been a message of some kind. A message? A message to convey the fact that she didn't leave the city, for instance. So what, you think that she was trying to tell Grey or something? We can't discount the possibility. She may have already become involved in some difficulties at that juncture. 
Hey, those uh, hardliner guys that attacked us, you think they're connected? Their goal is to eradicate the Mobius, so I wouldn't put it past them to get the city people involved. To my eyes, that's something to consider. Back, back up a second, Rosanna has no way to fight, right? So why is she going against the hardliners? That's a good point. Additionally, she was also said to have connections with the conservatives. Right, yeah, there's that. Of course, she might have just personal friends who happen to fall on both sides. That wouldn't be so strange. But that fact doesn't try, does strike me as somewhat calculated, even mer mercenary. Great, do you have anything to, you can tell us? I didn't, don't know how she got involved with all, in all this, but Rosanna, she'll do whatever it takes. When she's said on something, there's no stopping that woman. If her connections to another faction again serve as the means to an end, her end, there's no doubt in my mind she'll make use of them. I guess she did what sent, she did send us on that wild Medus chase. Do you think that she's in league with those hardliners, and that's why she tried to get us snuffed out? It's possible. Wouldn't put it past her. Well then, what the spark are we are we nattering on for here? Right, perhaps we should start checking the places where the hardliners are rumored to hang out. Nice idea, but going by that doctor, I oh, doubt they're all going to be neatly cooped up in one place. Can we just go over them one by one? That doesn't strike me as realistic. There's no telling what they might make their mood. Speaking of which, I'm worried by the mention of an automaton. Yeah, if those things get deployed inside the city, then we deal with those first? But we don't really know where they are. But let's see, the doctor gave us the three suspected locations. True, and only there are multiple possibilities for the location of their hideout. hideout. Well, let's start with wherever is most likely, more likely than, I guess. No need. Places the, the places the good doctor gave us were meant to pinpoint the hardliner's stronghold. And the Nopon drum dump provided a hit to the automaton's location. Oh, right, gotcha, if we put the skulls together. Exactly, we can just scout the place overlooking the city, as well as the Belly Plaza area. Just a, just an educated guess, but if I was going to hide an automaton anywhere, it would be the third place. Then what are we waiting for? Let's get over our asses over there. Right, come on, loading! Scene, I guess. How are we looking out there? Monica's still gone, but Gray's back with Ouroboros, looks like. That guy really doesn't know when to quit. Still, if we can just disrupt the command chain, everything else should fall into place, right? Finally. Our toy will have its day. Of course. It's high time we got to use this thing, and I couldn't think of a better opportunity. Oh, yes. She turned out exactly as I'd hoped. You're a sly one, aren't you? Getting people to accept you, then using them as you like. I'm sorry. What? Skilled technologists from R&D always have to be... managed, to a degree. We've watched you closely. And you've never leaked info about our actions to anyone. You've helped us come this far. Regardless of the results, you've made your bed as our accomplice. You're still not making any sense. You think the plan's going to fail? I don't intend to let this opportunity pass me by. Whatever happens, I'll leave my mark on this city. I promise you that. This is our chance to gain the upper hand in one fell swoop. No need to get gloomy. Yes, that's exactly it. We'll have Ouroboros in our hands, and we won't have to fight them. No more hiding. No more biding our time. No more taking anyone's crap. That stuff's for the birds. Guernica, Monica, they're too soft by half. We'll cause a disturbance in the city. Then use the confusion to steal away all the Levnesis. Brilliant! With Monica gone, now's our window. We'll suppress the military and have them hand over the leadership. Once we bend Ouroboros to our command, all they have to do is squish Mobius under our thumb. You think they'll ally themselves with us? Even after we cause all this ruckus? Ha! They're just a bunch of kids. They'll be putty in our hands. Right. Yeah. Put in our hands indeed. Okay, so now uh, we had Back to Cadencia region. And then down here. The sword face. 
Okay, so now we go this way. And then up here. Is it really here? Be on the lookout for a hidden door. Anything that strikes you is odd. Was it meant to be here somewhere? Looks like a whole load of nothing. Well, this is where the doc said. Wait. Hmm, here. How did you know? Too much effort to explain. Let's just go. Are all old people this cranky? Beats me. Come on, let's just follow him. Okay, now let's go this way. Up ahead. Ah, oh, you sniffed us out all the way out here. You're like a right proper hound. Ha, you're right on the money there. He's Vandam's little doggy is what he is. There's nothing for you here, Grey. Go wag your tail somewhere else. Whoa, they're really laying into you. Go on, Grey, give them a real tongue lashing. No need. What? Sure there is. You're not going to let these clods make fun of you and have the last word. <sighs> Ouroboros are still just kids, and it shows. If they're your latest traveling companions, then, ugh, how the mighty have fallen. If you're here, I assume it's because you figured out our plan. Looks like we'll have to get rough. Or are you going to sit there like a good pooch and lick yourself? Yeah, I'm not that flexible. First, I'll kill you. You, I'll keep alive for now. Might still kill you later, if you don't tell me anything worthwhile. Whoa. I knew we were gonna see action today. But this is more than I signed up for. Yeah. Doesn't spark around, does he? Uroboros are your only allies now. Rosanna is on our side. You still wanna fight? Of course. It is, after all, my job. Loyal to a fault. That's a hound. But you can't protect the city with that wimpy attitude. Today, this hour, the city will be transformed. And the cause of peace demands a sacrifice. Okay, so we're finding these evolved, evolved sentry. Again, we got this no problem. Didn't I tell you? There's a power threshold. Like a maximum? It's an interesting system. Little Drum Drum and I incorporated it. 
So now you decide to turn on us. You'll wish you hadn't done this. No. I haven't betrayed anyone at any point. It seems to me it's completely slipped your mind when you were all acting so fishy five years ago. It was me who broached the subject to you when you roughed up the doctor back then. You don't remember? And the conservative leader, Garrett, who put you in touch with him? Me again. We'd round up all the unsavories and toss the trash all at once. And now, your time's up. My dear husband doesn't like me staying out too long. So now my part in this is over. Here we go! Rosanna! Gray! You bastards! Some relations have changed. Okay, so we're fighting these guys now, but it's not, it's not the robot thing anymore. There we go. The city needs us. As if you could ever bring peace to the city. Man, I could have sworn Rosanna was one of the bad guys. Me too. Even you thought so, right? Why would I? Uh, those shady dealings for a start. They didn't set off any alarm bells for you. <sighs> Honey, do you realize people can't read your mind? I told you not to throw your back out. Not what I was talking about, but I'll bite. You really can't stop being reckless, can you? We're all still alive. I don't think that counts as reckless. Now, Guernica, he's the one who was reckless. But then again, even his actions may well have borne fruit. We're back to talking in riddles again. The original idea was for me to stop the hardliners myself without involving all of you in this. So I'm sorry. I'm sure it was quite a burden. I don't get the thinking here. Surely you could have just asked Gray for help in the first place. Our opposition would have noticed something was up. They'd never have lowered their guard like that. They thought they had me pegged as weak. That's what made it easy for them to bring me aboard. That's basically it. How much did Monica know? Oh, she knows me. When I needed her out of the city, she obliged without a single peep. Some things you have to say out loud, and others go without saying. You know how it is. Uh. <laughs> well, then one day, you will. Huh. One of those things, is it? Yep. Better get used to it. Mm. What? The point of us old timers is to keep you youngsters on the right path. If you trust us, you don't have to hurry so much to try and understand things. Oh my. Someone's a chatterbox today. <sighs> oh, for spark's sake, could you not? All this beating around the bush is driving me up the wall. <laughs> Why don't I translate for you? He's saying he wants to keep working with you for a long time to come. See, that I can understand. Right back at you, Gray. And now this quest is done. Now, uh, Gray can increase this hero class can read. Reached level 20. I see some relations have changed. Big and, responsibility. Uh, now we're gonna end this episode of so the Fox here, guys. So if you like this part, be sure to subscribe to my channel, leave a like and post a comment on what you thought of the video. And I'll see you guys see you guys next time for more Way 4, Xenoblade Chronicles 3. Have a wonderful day, guys, and peace out.